Alright, what's happening around the world, your DCs today? Mm. The Pope has revealed that he hasn't watched television mm. since 1990. Shame. What? Yeah, yeah, well, what do you mean shame? You missed out on so much. It's probably a good thing. You should start worrying if the Pope hasn't watched TV from 1990, don't you? You should say, why is the Pope not watching TV? Why, Dad? Are we doing something wrong? Oh. Or should we be doing the same thing? Mm. He hasn't watched TV since 1990. Uh, and he followed that announcement by also announcing that he's going to make Bill Cosby a saint. <laughs> no, Darren. Sepp Blatter has cancelled his 80th birthday celebrations, which are due to happen next month. Run out of cash. Huh? No, he's been told he has to make himself available on that date for his hearings. Not earrings, hearings. <laughs> and if there's one thing we've learned from this, you can never trust an 80-year-old blatter. <laughs> Sorry. Starbucks has confirmed that sax star Kenny G helped create the f their famous Frappuccino. What? Uh, really? Yeah. How is that? Just think, well, when you're drinking a Frappuccino, you obviously think of Kenny G music, right? What? No. Especially if you're in an elevator. Um, yeah, Kenny G helped create the famous Frappuccino at Starbucks. But remember, while Kenny G helped create one, Ariana Grande was named after one. <laughs> <laughs> Alphabet, you know who Alphabet is? No. Or are? Andy, no. No. come on, you're supposed to be with all this new modern stuff. ABC. It, well, isn't it like a technological yes, something platform yeah. thing? And blah, 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 blah. Alphabet is Google's parent company. There we go. They have now surpassed Apple as the world's most valuable firm after its latest earnings report. Alphabet are now the most valuable, the world's most valuable firm. They say it's because Google has paid uh, attention to its core business mm -hmm. and paid attention to its customers and not paid any tax. <laughs> Figures show that more people are moving from Australia to New Zealand than vice versa. This is the first time this has happened in 24 years where the trend has gone that way. Uh, it's probably because of the big drought problem they're having there, Johnny. Okay. Yes, Australia have finally drunk their home country dry. <laughs> <laughs> and just for you, Andy, Jay-Z. Yeah. yeah Jay-Z. Uh, today's equivalent of Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> Not. Uh, his record label is suing Rita Ora. Yes, I heard about I that. Which I thought was a biscuit. No, man. She's a flippin' a pop star from the UK. Oh, okay. Get with it. Uh, Jay-Z's record label is suing Rita Ora. I still think she's a biscuit. Mm. Huh. <laughs> but that I want to eat her. Uh, oh. Claiming she's broken her recording contract and not made the number of albums that she was supposed to. That's not very gangster, you know. I mean, what is going on today, Andy? What? What happened to the good old days of solving music problems the old way? Which is what? A drive-by. <laughs> Shots fired. Handsome.